My name's Ife, 17, and I go to Christ the King Sixth Form College in Lewisham. And I'm here in the Biochemical Engineering Department at University College London. I am researching about cells and how they adhere to surfaces. My name is Ian Lung and I'm from QE Boys. And what I've been doing in UCL is working on how bacteria would adhere to the surface of polycarbonates. And it's very similar to Ife's project, but instead of using bacteria, she's using cells. So at the moment, I'm trying to plasma treat the polycarbonate. And what you need to do is you need to get the conditions just perfect for it. Okay, this, this is a piece of polycarbonate which I have just plasma treated. Each year we have four or five students come to visit us and these students will um, take part in a number of different projects, a number of different activities that we hope will give them a very good broad understanding about what biochemical engineers do. I am considering to do engineering, not biochemical but chemical engineering. I thought before my idea about engineering was, you know, tools everywhere and didn't know what the names of the tools were and all of that. Um, this has really allowed me to experience what engineering is really about. What we hope is that they'll enjoy themselves so much that they'll then go back and tell their school friends, they'll tell their teachers and, you know, in terms of us recruiting uh, at undergraduate level uh, and, and in terms of spreading our message across groups of, of, of children who wouldn't normally be aware of our activity, we're hoping that the scheme will enable us to do that. My name is Jan Beccoloni. I'm the curator of Arachnida and Myriapoda here at the Natural History Museum. Quite a few people know me as Spider Woman, which I rather like actually. Okay, so here's the story where we store all our archival collections. I'm Graham Rickgurin. I study at Greenford Sixth Form and I'm doing a Nuffield bursary at the Natural History Museum in entomology. So I get to see some really interesting specimens. Okay. So it's quite a large British spider actually, mm. much larger than a lot that you see. Amrit's been working on a very large collection of spiders we had donated a few years ago. They were all identified and they needed incorporating into the main collection, a job that is extremely worthwhile and very important to do. I'm the only curator on the Arachnids and Myriapods, so I, you know, I can't do everything myself apart from growing another few pairs of legs, which would be perfect to fit in with my spiders. But um, it's been, a, I think, a win-win situation. I would say that the students have a much higher level of attainment than you might actually give them credit for. Yeah, okay. And as long as you help them en route, um, then it works really well. I only found out recently that she's written a book on arachnids. You don't realise it, but she's like very, very into her field, and I think I want to be like that when I'm older. I think science is the way to go, for really, for me. My name's Shannon Aziz. I'm just doing a summer placement at the MRC CSC which is part of the Medical Research Council. And what I'm looking at, I'm looking at diet. So specifically, I'm looking at the effect of a yo-yo diet on your liver. And what I'm trying to find out is what happens on a molecular level, what happens to the proteins in your liver. And the methodology I'm using is Western blotting, which is a quite common procedure, but it's quite complex and requires a lot of practice and it requires a lot of patience. I think there are three benefits I identify. One is the overall benefit is that if you have young people interested in doing research, we should support them. And I think that's not only our role, but our duty as scientists to bring and actually nurture the future scientists. The second thing is that you might be training the future Nobel Prize winner. And the third thing is that lots of them are extremely bright. They learn things very quickly. They pick up the techniques very quickly. So they will actually contribute directly to your research. Benefits for James and Shadman are obviously fantastic opportunity as a 17 year old to go into a, a real working lab and do actual new research. Um, so I'm, they must be so lucky, you know. Um, for the benefit of me, um, you know, it really, it tested my ability as um, a teacher, which I've never had before. So it, it made me step back and think about my own work and how I would um, tell a new audience about my work. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Um, yeah, this is just my final one actually. Oh. 
it's actually quite interesting that younger people are less afraid to ask the very obvious questions that sometimes are the key question to ask. It also, it gets people in the lab uh, to think a bit more about their own work, how they explain it to, to, to people, how they, they project that, that work. And of course, there's lots of little uh, bits of work to be done and scientists always have too much to do and not enough time, so an extra pair of hands with a brain attached to it is always very useful to have in the lab. I think it's a, it's a win-win situation for everyone. Mm -hmm.